Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make your epic conchas, okay? I've listened to your feedback, to your suggestions, I heard what you wanted. The last recipe I posted benefited my son and his selective eating, but this one is going to be a guarantee for you guys. And guess what? I'm making it with bread flour, so let me go ahead and show you how to make these. Before we begin anything in our recipe, we want to proof our yeast. I have instant yeast, but if you're using a different kind of yeast, you always want to proof it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our milk. Give that a good mix. And our yeast loves sugar. So a little bit of the sugar that's going to go into our dough mix, we're going to pour in here just a little bit. It's all going to go in the same place, guys. Got to wake up the yeast, invite it. That's going to be very nice and warm where we're going to move it to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to let this set for 10 to 15 minutes. When you see the foam on top, that means that you're ready to begin with your recipe. First things first, we're going to sift our flour with our dry ingredients. Can you make this if you don't sift it? Of course you can. Once you've sifted your ingredients, go ahead and add your sugar. To your warm milk, you wanna add your vanilla. It's gonna be up to you if you wanna use powder cinnamon or a cinnamon stick and then just ground it in your blender or your grinder just so that you can have some of the flakes. Sometimes I use powder. You guys have seen my recipes. Give that a good mix. Once you've combined all your flour and your lovely ingredients, you wanna make a well in the middle. Okay, and that's where we're gonna go ahead and add our milk vanilla combo. For your butter portion, I know that you guys made, um, I had a lot of comments saying like, why are you using lard, why this, why that? So what I chose to do for this recipe, we're using butter and I'm using a butter shortening mixed together. And let's go ahead and add that in. Add our eggs and our yeast. Just start mixing it. And bring these helpful hands into your bowl. <laughs> Once you feel like you've formed your dough enough, you want to go ahead and uh, pour it over on your counter. And if you start it on your counter, then you don't have to worry about this step. Shout out to Cloudy for helping me clear out. Hello, hello. Oh yeah. Best sister ever. One of the things you're going to find that every flour you use is going to absorb differently. So if you feel that you need a little bit of extra to smooth out your dough, um, you can get a little bowl of warm milk. And remember when I do the tortillas, I dip my hands in the water and then I keep it going. That's kind of what you want to do for this one. Because it's not even like tablespoons you need. You just need to dip your finger into a little bit of extra milk. Okay. Just dip your hands in a little bit of milk, come in here, 
with that good squeeze and I think I've dipped it enough. You guys know I like to knead my my sticky dough into a, a smooth, smooth consistency. If you add a little bit of flour, if you can't manage your dough correctly or you're having a difficult time, a little flour should smooth everything out for us. Okay? I have a question for you. I know you do things your way and you adjust the recipes like yeah. growing up. Uh -huh. um, why do you use all-purpose flour in the conchas and not the wheat? The um, wheat flour? Well, our family like has a difficult time digesting the full-on wheat. Mm -hmm. I personally don't. I love it. <laughs> no, I don't either. <laughs> but, um, our family has a little bit of a difficult time, so I just went yeah. with all purpose. And then with Biol's, um texture preference, mm -hmm. that's why I also make the dense ones. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I, I like them that way with the, a little bit more like, um, not tough. Yeah, dense is a word. I like because these I that we're making. Coffee. <laughs> that's what i was about to say sorry to interrupt you no, no, yeah no, no. i was about to say like the dense ones i like when i'm just eating it kind of just sitting there but yeah. the ones that are a little bit drier that everybody complains about those are the ones i like to dip in coffee yeah me too but even if i see like croissants some people are like these are too hard or something like that i'm like uh -huh. oh no that's perfect for yes. dipping in my coffee <laughs> yeah it just depends on what you're looking for because some people like the dryness of the conchas, mm -hmm. but people that just got started having them don't like the dryness. Oh, yeah. they think it's like a melon bread or something, like something fluffier? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's different. Yeah. Yep. So you want to knead this for a good uh, six to eight minutes. But if you quit at five, you should be okay. <laughs> You'll be okay. You have magic cans for, for bread. Really? Oh, yes, you do. Not because you're my sister, but you've made some of the best bread I've ever tasted. Really? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, sis. Because <laughs> I made it with love. The clover rolls and the popovers are my favorite, and these. See, I'm kneading, and I feel like it's too fall apart for me. I just, I like, I already know what I'm looking for in my dough, so I can see this, and I want more. Uh, more moisture? Yeah. Okay. A lot of the times I think people get scared once it gets mushy and sticky. Like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. If they're not cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yeah. But for me, I kind of know that I have to work at it until I get it smooth. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I always have to get your guidance on my dough. Well, I'm always there to help. Thank you. Thank you. This has to release stress. Meaning? Does yeah. it? <laughs> it does. It well, the kitchen to. releases uh, stress or anxiety or anything like that for me. Yeah. It always, it's my happy place. I feel like cleaning for me, it, it fills that void. Cleaning with nobody in the house yes. is joyful. Cleaning yeah. with everybody in the house, like with the boys and Robert. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's crazy. I know. You got a, you got a, a lot of boy energy in this house. Yes, I do. I'm like, <laughs> you guys got to go. I'm like, babe, take one to get a haircut. That's <laughs> quite a snack. <laughs> no wonder they're always looking fresh. <laughs> oh, not me, girl. I have no regards for who's around me. I'll bump the music, dance, clean. All right. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to form your little ball. My sister's helping me wash my dish. Love her. Hey, Cloud. Hello. <laughs> you put me to the test since I said I love cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I just did. <laughs> get him, sis. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what you want to do is you want to form it into a little ball and voila. Come some me that, Claudia. <laughs> so once you form your uh, dough into a little ball, you want to oil your bowl, okay, or wherever you're going to place your, uh, your dough in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it over like this. And just roll it around a few a few times and then toss it over just so it gives it that good moisture and keeps it moist instead of drying our dough while it's setting. So put a cloth, ceram wrap, uh, sometimes a plate over it helps too, which I really should start doing guys. I'm working on it. I'm working on less plastic consumption. It's a hard one, right? But we can do it. Well, you did buy that Costco industrial roll, so... 
Hey. <laughs> By the time you get it. Hey, Claude. I'm not saying I'm never going to use it. I'm just saying I use it a lot. I actually do use it a lot less now, though. You do, yeah. I really you've do. have been consciously trying to reduce your plastic consumption. Yeah, I am. You know what, guys? Sometimes I get so excited talking to you guys about, like, the recipes and what we're making that I have to, like, catch my breath because I'm just like talking beyond fast or what you guys can comprehend and i think that's where it comes in where i'm like saying things and it goes too fast or i'm thinking of something else you guys you guys already know so what we're gonna do with our dough we're gonna let it rest and we want it to rise and double in size so it takes about an hour and a half or two so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna place it in my oven at zero degrees and i'm gonna go ahead and leave it in there with the light on so that it can rise while our dough is resting, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make the topping for our conchas. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add our flour, Our powdered sugar, confectioner sugar. I get corrected often, but some people know it as confectioner sugar and some people know it as powdered sugar. So either way, they're both the same thing. Okay, and then we're gonna add our butter. Once you get a good groove going on, just give it a good squeeze and you start squeezing it all together. Okay, so once you get a good blend going on, you can pour it over on your counter or wherever you're mixing, or keep it in your um, in your mixer. You're doing this part. Bring the kids over, okay? There's no kids in this one right now. They're with dad, thankfully. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Man, if you're watching, whoever cooks at home, make sure that you guys take the kids so that the person cooking can cook in peace. You know, you're going to get fed really well. <laughs> if, you tell, if you tell me you're going to make me either a full-on Mexican meal or full-on Korean meal, I will babysit for hours on end. And not complain and be happy about it. Yes. <laughs> when my babies were really little, I think my full-on Korean cooking pulled through. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it came in handy. And it's helpful when you have a sister that loves babies. <laughs> yes. They're so cute. Okay. So this blend should smell delicious, one. And it's not sticky. It's just very, very, very smooth. I know a lot of people um, gave me feedback with the last one we made that the lard, it didn't work out. It was too like difficult. I'll agree. This blend is a lot better than the one we did on the last recipe. So if you're going to do one for the topping, even if you keep it dense, use this one. Oh, I never thought about that of mix matching recipes for like different textures that you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I'm like, no, that's the way I, I, it was done. You know, I have to do it that way. But yeah, I, I like the idea. Okay. Once we're set. We're gonna go ahead and divide our little mixture that we have, our dough mixture. And if you're not using any of the dyes that I have here, you can use cocoa powder, you can use the chocolate de la abuelita, or even the hot chocolate mixture that you use will taste delicious. We had a Views Club member mention that their mother used to use a strawberry milk from Quick into this blend, and he said it was delicious, and I can already smell it. Actually, I, I think I have some. Bring it up, clown. Bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> oh, we do. We it's do. the bunny one. It's not the bunny one. Oh, I got the Hershey. You can't use it. Why? Because it doesn't have a bunny on there. Really? That's my rule. Really, clown? Cool? Yeah, we can. You're silly as heck, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's already used it, and that would have been Bebe. Bebe loves this stuff. I might just chug it. Yeah. A nice little shortcut. Okay. Hey, baby. 
Come here. There he is. What's up, baby? Yeah, I'm here. I'm recording a video. Hailing all the way from Round Rock, Texas. You want to come over here and help me? Guess who just got here? With clean hands. Beautiful. All right. So we're looking for 46 grams on here, Viola, okay? 46 grams? Yeah, tell me when it gets to 46 grams. No. Nope, we gotta pinch a little bit off. You put it over here with mommy. We're looking for 46. You need to take a big pinch out of there. Good thing we have a, ma a mathematician here to help Ooh, us. Oh, we need to add. Okay, let's see. Yes! Ooh, awesome. Okay, now get it put in a little ball for mama. At this. Ooh, magic hands. I'm really good at making balls. Really? So am I. Yep. <laughs> okay, put it over here. Put it on this pile. Yep, that's fine. Check this one out. Okay, 46. Yep, we need 46. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oops, let's add a little bit more in here. Oh my goodness, you have the cutest hands. Okay, 46. 46? Yep. Perfect. Wow. Just pack it together because we're going to make a balls right now, okay? Because we still have to mix it with something else. You're not making tortillas, corazón. Those are not tortillas. It's pastry. Oh. You just got to go like this, Mira. Let me okay. show you. Let me show you on this one, okay? Look at it. Okay. All you're going to do is just put it right here like this, okay? Okay. All right. 46? 46? Mm-hmm. No, that's 49. Well, we need 46. What are you going to do? <laughs> If you put your hand on here, you're gonna weigh it down. Okay, a little. A little bit. Oh my goodness. A little, a little bit more. You're so good in the kitchen because you're so patient. Wow, teddy bear. Here we go. Yes! Just ball awesome. it up and put it to the side. Gotta weigh the next one. Oop, I think we dropped a little morsel in yep. there. Okay, ready? Keep your hands clean. Mm -hmm. Two. 40, 48, 47. Oh, he's got the pinch to it. 46. Oh. Oh. Gotta add a little more. 46. Got oh. it. Just Enough. squeeze it together, baby, okay? Like this? You weigh it and I'll do these, okay? Okay. There we go. I weighed it. I can do it. You can take some of this, Tad. Is that your baby, Howling Cloud? Hey, I have a mother too. Where's my little sweetheart? In grandma's room. There you go. Try that. Okay. You need some from there? You notice how you only need a little bit? Now you're at 48. So you gotta take some off. There we go. Yeah, like that? Yeah, you just give it a quick press. Oh, that one's 42. I think I have some stuff in here. Hold on. I think I have something left over on my bowl. Hold on, baby. Yes. Ooh, nice we save. almost didn't make that one, Punky. I mean, we can always make another dozen. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Take your pieces. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, my mouth is too much. I think we can keep all of it on that one. Yeah. We should be good so it doesn't go to waste. Thank you. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Bye. Well, you're looking at yourself. You gotta look at them up here. Please. Look at me. Hi. Hey, can we can we put the baby on? Uh, in the no. baby. He's already been mm -hmm. on. Oh, he's already. Yeah. Been. Yep. Just say bye. Bye. Thank you for helping, Punky. Bye, Teddy Bear. Keep it down, cause Mama's recording a recipe. Okay. On your end, you want to divide and color these however it works best for you. For me, to give you guys exact measurements, I went ahead and weighed them for you. That's why you have the measurements at the beginning uh, to make it easier on your end. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed my little 
happy helper <laughs> okay so now what i'm going to do i've decided to switch up the colors based on her quest uh, my children want more variety of colors so that's what we're going to do i feel like the gel works a lot better for these so just add a little drip let's see how wonderful my hands turn out and then you kind of give it another mixture i guess i need a little bit more just eyeball the food coloring to whatever color you want to see. You know what? Seeing all these variety of colors that you guys sent me made me think of when we were living in Texas. And there's something about whether you're in high school, elementary school, you have school pride and everything is the color of your school. I'm wondering if these would be great for one of those events at your schools to show some cheer. That's a great idea. <laughs> right? Yeah. Or a gender reveal. Yep, gender reveal. Easter. I would think more like you make all the tops blue and then in the inside you have like pink to trick everybody. Oh yeah, that would be good. Maybe I should do a little gender reveal for the kids and be like, you're gonna be a nothing. <laughs> That's me. Really a nothing instead of a brother or a big or a little brother? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the coloring on each one because my hands are a little bit slippery. So you guys should do that on your end too. Just open all the caps, drop the droplets in there of dye, and then continue. So let me get through this. Okay, so we're gonna go with pink. Do you want some of the um, syrup? Yeah, no? to the pink one, I'm gonna add some of the syrup. Okay. My yellow. Okay. We have green. I think you know what I'm gonna do these two with the with the chocolate. Okay. You mean one chocolate and one strawberry? What you do you mean? Oh, yeah, chocolate yeah, yeah. syrup. Let's do chocolate syrup and then one of these. Okay. Okay, this is what happened to me. It got a little sticky. So if you guys end up using the Hershey syrup, watch out now because you're gonna need the powder form. So if you mess up, just add a little bit more flour and powdered sugar and continue with your blend. Which I'm thinking to this one, I'm gonna add a little bit of pink the flavors are already going to be in there i can smell it and i love it thank you for the tip views club it smells amazing this is making me want you know how people do the ice Here, she's cream starting sandwich. everybody she the, is starting <laughs> you know how people do the ice cream sandwiches oh my god but we should do a gocha a sandwich while. we cut it in half and we yes. put a scoop of vanilla ice cream in there and that's how we're gonna eat it don't I'm, act like I'm already planning our... Don't act like you've never had it because <laughs> you and Robert together start coming up with more combinations than... Like, my brain is already combining things and you two? No. Well, I'm going to have it again. <laughs> Guys, if you're watching, be careful if your husband and your sister become pals because they're going to bombard you with <laughs> requests. Well, that worked out perfectly. You see how we fixed that quick? Oh, that's so pretty. It looks marbled. It looks marbled. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Once you have them all set in your little resting area, cover them. But I hope you guys are excited because this little special one right here is made with hot Cheetos. I mean, I have a little container of just my hot Cheeto powder because I love that stuff. And if you've never had hot Cheetos with your coffee, you have to try it and you have to try the concha. You guys saw it here first and look. I hope you guys are looking forward to that video coming up very soon. You know what, my mom, when we were when we were in high school, um, when it was close to her payday, we used to stop at the Circle K and she used to get us like either a coffee, whatever we wanted to drink, and we always bought hot Cheetos. So that's when our hot coffee and Cheetos started because of my mother. So she's kind of the creator and I'm like, hey, well, conchas and coffee, let's, let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you when our dough has risen and we're ready. Let's get ready to concha. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've doubled in size, and let's go ahead and start making these balls, guys. Who's excited? Because I am. <laughs> I actually, I want my hot Cheetos concha, but I know grandma's gonna come and fight me for it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start dividing our dough. Before we start dividing our dough, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a press. You're gonna notice that you can feel some of the, depending on how you ground your cinnamon, you can feel a little bit of it, and I like that. I think, I think a lot of our people like that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna measure these to be 111 grams. What if they don't have a fancy scale? 
scale. The size of a tennis ball? You can just like grab though, like how do you... Yeah, just divide it however or however you can. Okay. However, however big the pieces you want. But I think for... I know when you go to like a bakery, you get these huge pieces and those pieces probably end up being like 250 grams. Oh wow. So you can just eyeball to whatever you want. The cookie time's probably way longer than that, huh? Who's yeah. texting you, girl? Uh, Isaiah was right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, this is his pocket cam. Oh, pocket cam's texting you. Mm -hmm. What's Isaiah right now? You've been really suspicious, lady, and, and quiet. Maybe because I have a sty the size of an actual golf ball in my eye? No. Well, girl, come. More, more on a romantic kick. No, I don't have any romantic uh -huh. interest, so you would know that. I don't know. I'm Sometimes you take your that. time. Sometimes you take your time. No, girl. If I like somebody, I will let it be known. Why well, is your manic is is your future manic Coachella? <laughs> My future man is Coachella. Never. <laughs> My future man is somewhere making me a pie, reading a book. Really? Thinking of reading me a book. Yeah, I like that That's kind of nice. stuff. Imagine you bake me a peach pie with that good sugar on top, and then you want to go to the bookstore and pick out a great book for me, and then. You leave the room, but then I eat the pie and read to myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear this? <laughs> you need to cut that out, girl. <laughs> no way. They, they, you guys enjoy our conversations. We're really this silly in person. Uh -uh. I'm with you almost 24-7. Where would I have time to date? I don't know. Who? What? When? Where? Look at my, my phone. You know the password? It's always open. I don't know. Like, maybe somebody creeped into your DMs. Yeah, I had some weird people in my DMs, but I was just like, you guys are fake and it's rude to pay with people's emotions. You guys are gross. <laughs> if you feel that your dough got a little bit dry, I should have done more of it on there. Um, just put a little bit of shortening or butter, whatever oil you decide to use. Something like that'll work. Okay. Now we're back in business. Then you're going to see that it'll feel the softness that you should be getting. I'm like, why do they feel tough? So what you're going to do is you're just going to make them into your little balls. And you can either roll it down here like this to your little ball. Or you can do it in your hand. Okay. So what were we talking about, honey? That I do not have a date. I do not. I'm texting my... 15 year old son and I'm playing a game that's reminding me that my furniture is made Animal Crossing. I have a feeling like that this year's gonna be your year girl. No, you've no, been no, no, no. no, you've been um, very calm and now you don't want no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you got dance moves too? <laughs> I'm I enjoying think, my life, you know? I know you are, but that's when it happens. Well, you're acting like you know something. Do you need to tell me something? You're what? scaring me. I know a lot of things that I don't Are say. you going to make me like... I know what? You, you're the creeper that would be like, oh, let's go get some coffee, and then you plan something. Is there a plan of something? I would never do that one, because I know how you are. I would pass out. I would get knocked out, guys. <laughs> By my older sister. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I would just be highly embarrassed and not, <laughs> just act like a bird, not like a human. Yeah. I don't know how to be myself. If you, wanna, if you have the, uh, the backs... Um, just make sure you squeeze it nice and tight, okay? <laughs> and then just put it down. Is the dough soft right now? Yeah, it's really soft. I was noticing that they were getting a little bit dry. I'm like, what? They're not supposed to be this dry and like difficult. Well, they just needed a little bit of, uh, of help with the butter or shortening, whatever you use. Okay. Look at you can see the little bubble here. Mm hmm They look beautiful. That's how wonderful they are. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start pressing our last time I called it fondant because you guys have to understand I have a Mexican background. We speak Spanish and we know how to say things in Spanish, and then when I translate it, it doesn't always work out. Okay. So somebody was like, that's not fondant. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Well, people are getting worked up about the, um, the colors that you chose. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sport. Seriously. It's, well, if I felt that my recipe was like the it recipe in the whole world, like my enchiladas are, <laughs> then I would say it. But they're not like, even with enchiladas, I get so much like 
heat over it. And I mean, it's such a traditional dish that I, I get it, but I don't think people are opening their mind to understand that I'm using the whole chili. I'm not even getting rid of like the cascara, the peel. We're using all of the chili. Even when you sift, when you do it the traditional way, you get rid of the peel. Yeah, I mean, you do. Once you've stretched out your topping, you're gonna press down your concha just a little bit because when you put your topping on top, that's when you're gonna get a bit of good press. And you wanna make this as big as you would like. So it should cover your concha, but you guys know I'm extra. Shout out to the people that uh, are in different countries where concha means something else. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. So do you see, if you don't like it hanging over, you guys can go ahead and cut it out, but I like to hang it over because it rises and it gets nice and fluffy. Oop, anybody want ice? I, I sometimes feel like I have the loudest home, I'm not gonna lie. Like my AC units are like, AC unit, <laughs> are right next to here. So it's gonna get louder for summer, guys. Did you tell me your, your previous neighbor told you something about your AC unit? Yeah, she did. She came and she's like, oh, we don't, we're not sure, but your AC unit seems to be a little bit loud. I'm like, we have two. And she's like, oh, okay. I said, but we'll go ahead and get it checked out. So we have like three different companies to come and check it out. And they're like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's because you have two. And in the area where they're placed, it like echoes and bothers our neighbor. But this was a neighbor that we were having that was having like parties every weekend. And like they were staying late and it was just really overwhelming, guys. Your new neighbors are great. I love them. They're so sweet. Mm -hmm. And their children are so well behaved. They are. And they give the ball back. The soccer balls? Mm-hmm. So you guys are going to ask me how round these are. I'm guessing, you know what? We're going to sell this. Let me get my phone real quick. If you guys have an Apple iPhone, there's an app for measuring. So that's what I'm going to use right now to measure. Okay. The size of these are two inches. Okay. So you're going to make them as large as you want. One and a half, two, or about this size. Palm of your hand. Give it a little bit of a press and set it aside. I'm gonna continue doing these for all of our conchas, guys. If you don't have a tortilla press, you can press this down with your uh, cutting board like I showed you guys on some of my videos when I make tortillas. That one has a nice bubble. You see that, guys? Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you a story. My kids were into Ninja Turtles, and I made them Ninja Turtle Conchas once. They're a little bootleg when I did them, okay? I'm not that crafty with my fondant <laughs> or my topping, but this green this green part reminded me of when I made them there. Ninja Was it Turtle one. similar to the Mickey Piñata? Really, the Mickey Piñata? Yeah, it did. That was that bootleg, guys, but I know that you guys have such creative hands that if you want to make it Ninja Turtle theme, Paw Patrol, uh, Baby Shark, la 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 la, these would be great. I said Ninja Turtles, now I want pizza. Sounds so good. I've been into um, wanting pizza today and um, Indian food. Some oh, tindor so chicken. Ooh. Indian food is my third favorite. Actually, it's my, yeah, my third. Uh, Indian food is on my top five. Yeah. but I'm not too um, knowledge with it. Usually whatever you introduce me to and whatever you have me make. And when I press, I press right here a little bit more. If you see some cracking, it's because this one I had to fix when I used the chocolate syrup. 
I had to fix it a little bit so it's a little bit more cracking and that's how um, you know when it cracks it's because you used too much flour or the balance wasn't done right and with this one it got so thick kind of like how I showed you with the strawberry one um, so I had to add a little bit more flour to the abuelita chocolate one you'll have to be more like this yes okay so if you don't have a concha press you can probably order one on Amazon I like doing it with the knife it's been working for me so you just want to cut it and make the design that you want for your concha. And you can make it look like a shell, like that. That'll work. You can probably, let's see, how do we wanna cut it? You can probably cut it at angles like this. Make a little star. I'll show you a few different ways of the chaos that I did on my last video, so. Okay, now that we've done this part and we've set it out of the way, what you want to do is you want to grab something, okay? I don't know what you guys use at home. That's why I say grab something, <laughs> but let me clarify. <laughs> you can grab uh, some ceram wrap, which we're trying to use less, and you can grab your cloth, just something that you can cover it so it doesn't dry out, okay? Because what we're going to do is we're going to let this set for 20 to 30 minutes. For me, I'm going to go the full 30 so that it rises, and that's one of the things that I... You know, with my, I'm learning a lot as I continue making videos for you guys, <laughs> but somehow I missed the part where I rose it for 30 minutes and I had to go back and try and clarify. And I think those are the parts where it gets difficult for me and I feel so bad on your guys' end, but I promise I'm, I'm getting better. Like in any recipe that you guys want me to redo because it's just so out there of my older recipes, I would be more than happy to redo them for you guys, just like this one. Yes, I do have the Costco roll of ceram. <laughs> okay guys, so I'll see you in 30 minutes when I'm placing this in the oven for us. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and place all our conchas in the oven and I'll see you guys shortly. And that's how you make a close to authentic concha. I hope you guys like the enhancements and changes we've made to this recipe. If you've already made this recipe, I would love for you to make it again and let me know what you thought. I think this one's a winner for you guys since the last one's more uh, punky proof, you know? <laughs> one of the things that I got a lot on the last video was we didn't get to see the inside. Well, I didn't wait to eat it because I needed to let it set for a little bit, but now I've let these set. I'm ready to test it out. Before I do that, make sure that if you just join my channel you hit that subscribe button you click that bell right next to it it's going to send you notifications when i upload and if you like this video i appreciate those thumbs up so if you see that i'm like everywhere it's because i want to taste these <laughs> oh my gosh you guys this is so amazing i get so excited when i work hard and things turn out the way that i want them you guys ready for that inside feel Oh yeah. If you see this, I'm not I'm not too scared to show you like what happens in my kitchen. Do you see the bottom? Well, this is what happens. Do you remember the two that I had on the side? I put them on the bottom, but you get more heat on the bottom, so it's going to crisp up like this. But I wanted to do it for, you know, our purpose here. It's still really good, but on your guys' end, it's going to take you 20 to 22 minutes and put something on the bottom rack, but I needed to bake these. So, let's go ahead and give this a taste. These are the times where I'm just like, girl, this is amazing. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cloud, you gotta taste this. Amazing. There you go. There you go, honey. Mmm. What do you taste in there that gets you? Okay, I hate saying this, but these are better than grandma's. What? These are better than grandma's. Really, Cla? Yes, no, these are the best. Oh my gosh. Do you mm. mean like great grandma or mom? It's like legit, like the best ones I've ever tasted. Man, this is stuck on that one. Mm-hmm. I did mm. make these with a lot of love, guys. I made them just for you guys. 
as a mom, I, if my kids say that they need something or something's not working out the way they want it, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to do it until it works for you. Okay. Mm. Um, if you guys are making this recipes, I love it when you send me the recipe so that I can share them with our friends here on the channel like this. This is so good. Still going to tunnel there? <laughs> I'm embarrassed you took it up from the mic. Probably just yeah. edit that part out. No, <laughs> you're good. Um, you guys, this is how I make the conchas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. And even if you have seen my other conchas recipe and you came for this one, I adore you for it. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Adios. Oh man, I melted all my butter in here, dude. Where to go, sis? Get it in there. Yeah. No, put it in that. Um, don't ever call yourself that. Get it in that. I know why I say that. Oh, well, you're not, though. But put it.